What? I'm already low on battery. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to spend a little time here in the city of Hayward, California. So there are four stops that I want to go today and we are at our very first location which is the Hayward Japanese Garden. So let's go inside and check it out. So I really find it cool that the senior center, the buildings, fits in really really well with the Japanese Garden. There are little pockets in this garden where you can just climb onto and just chill like your own little corner. Pick a spot to sit and just enjoy the view and the serenity. Just me being cheesy here. <laughs> this is an interesting fact guys. So Japan actually gifted us 3,000 cherry trees in 1912 crazy huh and supposedly one of these trees over here is one of those cherry trees I'm guessing it's that one I'm not sure I don't really know what a cherry tree looks like <laughs> guys we found the coolest bush ever look how bouncy it is dunch, 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 dunch. bounce with me Maddie yeah So stupid. <laughs> Okay, so an interesting fact about this Japanese garden is the wood that they use to create these bridges and pavilions and the way they made it was instead of staining it, they used an aging process that had to do with fire. So what they did was they burn the wood and then they sanded it and it just naturally ages the wood to the color that they have today. So basically it's just a longer process than just applying a simple stain to the wood which I think it's pretty cool you know put some effort into it and create something beautiful instead of using shortcuts they're all coming to us because they think we're gonna feed them silly boy uh, we, we've seen some like yeah, surface yeah but they're all coming coming back <laughs> You guys were just right there where we were. Now they followed us here because they all want food. What are the odds? Two Quinceanera photo shoots today. All right guys, so that was the Hayward Japanese Garden. It was just beautiful, wasn't it? But the next stop is something a little bit more gloomy, but I heard it is very beautiful as well. And guess what? It's a cemetery. That's right, a cemetery. Uh, let's go. The reason I wanted to pay a visit to Lone Tree Cemetery was because of its legend that revolves around this old oak tree. The city even created a plaque with the entire story of forbidden love that resulted in tragedy hundreds of years ago. 
making you believe that this really is a true story. Really fun fact about the Lone Tree Cemetery is that it holds the, I think it's the state, but it could be the country's longest Memorial Day celebration. So the annual celebration started in 1903. So that is over a hundred years of continuous yearly celebration on Memorial Day. Okay guys, besides the legend, I think this little plot of area in the cemetery is my other favorite. And this plot is dedicated to firefighters and I love the fact that they put all these red fire hydrants to honor them. I thought that was really, really special and sweet. So here are the praying hands and what is cool about this is that there used to be a tree in this area. So this was carved entirely from the trunk of the tree. Next we got some cupcakes from Hayward's famous The Cupcake Shop. In 2012 their French Toast and Bacon Cupcake won Best Cupcake at the San Francisco Cupcake Challenge. So we had a taste of that as well as a few other tasty looking cupcakes. And they're so pretty. Okay guys, so we are at our very last stop and we are here in the, I guess you could call it the Hayward Industrial Park. And why are we here? Because we wanted to see Big Mike. Big Mike, introduce yourself. <laughs> I know he is huge, oh, no, isn't he? Huge. He's like, Maddie, please, please, all right? Show Big Mike some respect. So Big Mike is 20 feet tall and he is actually one of the many muffler men that have been built in the, I think it's the late 1960s and they were used as advertisements for businesses. So Big Mike was an advertisement for a, I wanna say car wash. <laughs> and usually these muffler men would have something in their hands to kind of like showcase what they're advertising. Big Mike has lost his little advertising tool, a huge scrub for the car wash, which makes sense, right? So yeah, so the um, the owner of Big Mike is actually a huge fan of these giant, enormous sculptures. And as you can see in this area, Big Mike is not alone. He has many, many friends. So now that I have properly introduced you to Big Mike and his lovely dachshund friend here, and we're just going to walk around the corner to see his other friends, which immediately you see Santa Claus, giant Santa Claus, that's right. But the cool thing is, is that he is not the only muffler man here. There is quite a few others, and here they are. So you have a Paul Bunyan with his axe, another Paul Bunyan looking man, and the rest of the park. And there's even another wiener. So cool guys, look, this is the mold. And this is the finished product. Guys, it's miniature Godzilla. Okay, so we were asked to sign a guest book. So if you ever do come here, make sure to remember to sign the guest book that is 
in the office. It's just kind of, you know, a little collection, memories of how many guests they get. Huh. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Just sign the guest book, okay? <laughs> Guys, so that concludes our day here in Hayward. I hope you enjoy all the stops that we did. And yeah, I mean, there are still a lot of places I would like to visit in Hayward. So there might just be a part two and a part three, maybe part four. <laughs> I'll stop. Sorry. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see future videos of mine. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys all have a fantastic, wonderful day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Happy wandering.